Saudi Arabia is one of the world's wealthiest countries. But how wealthy are its people? The Saudi royal family is one of the richest in the world. The family has a combined wealth of $1.4 trillion, with an estimated net worth of $2.3 billion for each member. In this video, we'll discuss how they made their money, how they spend it, and how strong they are as well as taking a tour of their opulent homes and showing you around their fleet of super yachts and luxurious cars. The Saudi royal family is 16 times wealthier than the British royal family. With a total net worth of 1.4 trillion, the massive oil deposits discovered 75 years ago, which transformed Saudi Arabia's economy and made the House of Saud the world's richest family. According to the House of Saud, Approximately 15,000 members of the royal family are ensconced in opulent palaces worth $1.4 trillion. Saudi Aramco, the country's state-owned oil firm, is one of the world's most wealthy and successful corporations and the foundation of the vast royal family fortune. The family's expensive and pompous lifestyle has come under heavy criticism on several occasions. The previous several years have been tumultuous for the family, since Mohammed bin Salman MBS, was elevated to the post of Crown Prince. Several members of MBS's family, including his first cousins, have been detained in what looks to be a power struggle, like the fictitious book and television series Game of Thrones. The politics of greed and revenge, on the other hand, foster a culture of wasteful and lavish expenditure. A look at the opulent lifestyle enjoyed by the royal family, from spending millions on super yachts and private aircraft to fueling conflicts in the Middle East. The Saudi royal family may be the world's most powerful aristocracy, with hundreds of princes and a combined wealth of about $2 trillion, and they're back in the limelight. A lineage of the Al Sauds may be traced back to the 1700s, but the contemporary dynasty descends from Abdul Aziz bin Abdul Rahman bin Faisal, better known in the West as Ibn Saud, who established the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and governed from 1902 to 1953. As the CIA found in 2018, the execution of writer Jamal Khashoggi was ordered by current Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The family has once again come under Western scrutiny. The royal family utilizes tissue paper retrieved from gold-plated tissue dispensers, as well as gold-studded super yachts, private planes, and palaces, in addition to gold-plated furnishings. Salvatore Mundi, Leonardo da Vinci's 500-year-old picture, cost Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman $450.3 million in 2017. He bought it by proxy. The picture, commonly known as Jesus Christ, sold for an all-time high at an auction, setting a new world record. The Chateau Louis XV, situated in France, has been dubbed the world's most costly residence by Fortune magazine. On the grounds of the Chateau are 10 bedrooms, two swimming pools, one indoor and one outdoor, as well as a cinema, wine cellar, and a moat with an aquarium visible from the surface. There is no doubt in my mind that I am wealthy and not impoverished. I am not a Gandhi or Mandela over his expenditures and personal life, MBS said. I am a member of a governing family that has existed for hundreds of years before Saudi Arabia was founded. After failing to acquire Manchester United, the Crown Prince is apparently looking to purchase a Premier League football club, most likely Newcastle United. Incredible mansions of Saudi royalty, Chateau Louis XIV, Louveciennes, France. A story by the New York Times claims that the Crown Prince spent $301 million on the luxurious chateau in 2015. The opulent 10-bedroom chateau was finished in 2011 in a Baroque design and is located just outside of Paris. The interiors of the chateau which were created and embellished by French artists, include floor-to-ceiling marble, gilded ironwork, and frescoes. The mosaic tiling and lights in the indoor pool make it seem like a luxurious space. The chateau has a ballroom, home theater, and gym in addition to the pool. 
There's also an underwater chamber with glass fish tank walls and a subterranean nightlife. Surely Kim Kardashian considered the chateau as a wedding location in 2014. Erga Palace, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Because King Salman is so wealthy, he has various overflow castles where he may retire or entertain visitors. With the Erga Palace in Riyadh serving as one example, the palace, which is situated in the heart of Riyadh and was just recently built, is a sight to see. During his visit to the palace in 2015, the newly installed Saudi king received President Barack Obama. Erga Palace, like Al Yamama, is showy, boasting more than its fair share of gilding, luxurious silk carpets, and expensive Italian marble, among other luxuries. President Obama and his team were given to a lavish supper by the monarch to mark the occasion of their state visit. Lobster, lamb, jeweled rice, and other delights were served to the hosts and their guests. The king also conducts meetings with his courtiers and entertains Saudi VIPs in the palace, which is so luxurious that even the waste paper bins and tissue holders are made of silver. Al Yamama Palace, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Salman bin Abdulaziz, the current Saudi monarch, has lived at Riyadh's enormous Al Yamama Palace since becoming king and prime minister in January 2015. The palace is a functional palace and also acts as the royal court's headquarters. Geometric patterns and pointed arched windows decorate the exquisite contemporary building's facade, which pays homage to classic Arabic architectural elements. The exteriors, on the other hand, are somewhat bland. Chandeliers and rugs, elegant antiques and gold accents abound in this lavishly decorated residence. An Italian marble floor and finely carved ceiling and wall panels contribute to the opulent feel of the room. The palace is where King Salman holds weekly meetings of the government and often hosts foreign leaders and other VIPs. As of late, it seems as though only bad things have been spoken about the palace. Fears of a coup have been raised since Yemeni Houthi militants fired ballistic missiles at the palace in December and a drone was shot down in April near the palace. Le Chateau de Lumière, Great Falls, USA. After becoming Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the United States last year, Prince Khalid bin Salman sought an opulent residence in Washington, D.C. to serve as his headquarters. In Great Falls, Virginia, Prince Khalid chose the opulent Le Chateau de Lumière, Palace of Light, as his new residence. As a Georgetown University student in February of last year, Prince Harry paid for an apartment for $12 million, 9.1 million pounds, in cash via an anonymous front company. A royal friendly ballroom and eight master suite bedrooms are among the chateau's many amenities. Everything from antique couches to chandeliers to gold-plated statuettes has been meticulously sourced and meticulously installed. Additionally, the chateau has a swanky spa, a movie theater, a gaming room, and an outdoor pool area equipped with a cabana and Corinthian columns. So there you have it, the true wealth of the Saudi royal family. Do you think they are the richest family in the world? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.